Welcome back. Long overdue. The box from Viking Bags is here. It's been a while. It's been a minute. I haven't done it. I'm doing it. Let's take a look inside and see what's going on. Big old knife. Let's see what we got. All right. Well, what do we have here? This is the Vikings tail bag for sports bikes. Um, as you guys may or may not know, Viking bags is mainly uh, for cruisers. Um, as far as I know, they're, they make a lot of Harley stuff. If you check their website here, they make a lot of Harley stuff. Um, and so they are venturing now into kind of the sports bikes world, um, ADV world. Um, as you know, it's all luggage. Yeah. So I uh, was given the opportunity by Viking bags to try out their tail bag for my MT-09. As you guys know, I put tons of miles on my MT-09. And so when I go on my long trips, bags like this, they work wonders for me because I don't have any racks, I don't have anything on my bike, I just have a little bitty part on the back of <laughs> my passenger seat, okay? So, as just a quick comparison, okay? This thing is actually pretty big compared to my old one. This is my old one that I currently have that I was riding on for three years or so. Um, this is an Amazon special. Um, the branding on this one is actually, it's technically JG Racing. I don't know if it's actually JG Racing. I don't see any branding from JG Racing on here, um, but it could be a little copycat, okay? But anyways, this is what I've been riding on. As you can see, the difference is huge. Um, but let's take a look at the new bag and see what it's all about. So they've got this Molly um, kind of strapping or whatever you want to do here. So you could probably stick some other stuff in here, run some straps through there, strap some other stuff on top of it if you'd like. Not sure exactly what that design, if that was the actual point of this design. Um, but let's take a look. As you open up this flap, it just closes with that buckle. You open up the strap here. Um, lots of storage space. Um, immediately already see, see that. Immediately already see lots of storage space here. So you need to put whatever you want in here. This seems to be kind of a waterproof. Uh, covering for it so you could put stuff in here paper maybe, um, directions whatever you want to put in here and these two zippers right here open up to the actual inside of the bag itself as you can see here we've got some other stuff here looks like this is actually the the cover for it the weather covering and then all the straps and the tie downs that you would need to put this on the bike. We will try to put, we will try the installation later. I'm not going to do it right now. This is just a pure review of what the box, the box, geez, what the bag looks like. Uh, lots of space here, as you can tell. I just opened this. It's got all the stuffings in here. So side pockets here. Very roomy. Um, you can put quite a bit of stuff in here, actually. Um, and then, if I'm not mistaken, there is some sort of expansion to this. So I'm going to loosen these straps here. Let's see. So, you 
you take this zipper and open it up so it gives you an expansion I'm not sure how much expansion that is but as you can tell it's quite significant to from here to here so you could put quite a bit of stuff in here let's just give it a test live test of my old SJC helmet I see if it'll fit in here it's got my calm system here well it's got my old system is over my old center let's see if it'll actually fit my helmet I've got my GoPro mount on the front of it still so that might have changed the actual dynamics of it a little bit or dimensions not dynamics but the dimensions of it so it'll make it hard to fit properly but as you can see if I wanted to I could squeeze a full-size helmet into this bag without any problem which is really cool a plus on that one for um, to Viking bags that's a good mark um, that you're able to at least carry a helmet if you wanted to now as you can see it's pretty tight in here once you got the helmet in so I don't imagine putting anything else inside of this except for like maybe small stuff I wouldn't be able to put like any clothes in here you know just minor small stuff but if you are not taking a helmet but if you're not taking a helmet again just look at the expansion on that hopefully you guys can see on the inside of that that's that's pretty good that's actually pretty good and I'm thinking about again like let's just do a comparison okay like look at this and this bag right here as it is is fully expanded as you can see it is fully expanded and you can just immediately tell the difference <clears throat> and so it's quite promising for me because when I go on my longer trips I don't pack a lot but I pack quite a bit into this bag and I have my book bag that I normally take if I can fit everything into this bag and not have to have the weight on my back with my book bag a plus for me but we shall see but again the material seems very well made or the the bag itself seems very well made um, again loving the lots of kind of expansion areas or lots of like uh, storage areas so far compared to my other one I really like that so far it's it's again it is promising I like that um, also too if you if you haven't noticed on the bottom here I kind of dig this portion of it if you if you can tell it's grooved okay so this is a little bit deeper part in here this is grooved and so in regards to sitting on this seat I think <laughs> it's gonna work out good but we shall see I'm not completely sure but it is more promising than my other bag it seems more promising this right here is uh, seems like very good material very good leather here um, everything the straps look bulky uh, looks like it would not break um, it looks like it would last a little bit uh, longer um, not in comparison to my bag my old bag but good quality um, I like it uh, it's their street division if you can see that so definitely looking forward to this um, I don't know how it's going to actually mount on there I kind of have an idea by just looking at it but it's just going to take me to go on the bike and mount it and see how it goes so again this has been just my unboxing of the Vikings tail bag from from Viking bags obviously and so I'll give this a run I'm gonna run um, this bag no matter if I'm carrying stuff or not but I'll make sure to carry stuff in here just to see how the weight is distributed in regards to full bag um, stuff that I would take I have my drone so I'll probably stick my drone in here and put everything else that I would probably take in here and see how that feels but it's quite promising and so once I do my actual use case um, uh, video um, I'll let you guys uh, know about that one and I'll be dropping that video in a couple weeks probably just so it gives me a little bit of time to actually use case this about um, this particular tail bag also if you are not in the market for a tail bag and you already have one but you need say a tank bag 
go check out my buddy Ghost's video right here. Good guy, give him a like, give him a sub. Thank you again for joining me. Thank you again for clicking on the video. If you have not yet, go ahead and hit subscribe. It's free. Go ahead and hit the like and share this out to everybody. And I appreciate you guys coming along with me. See you on the next one.